Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. Now, my squad it took a big time turn. I'm super glad I didn't sell KD, and I'll kind of tell you guys a little bit of why in this video today. But before we dive into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're on the road to 70,000 subscribers. Now, when I did, I just got done doing a Jalen Brown gameplay on this account. And I got through the Amethyst tier. So I'm 22 and 1. I've won 20 straight games on this account. And honestly, I've only had a couple games that have really went down to the wire. So my Jonathan Isaac still hasn't sold. It does have an extra Hall of Fame badge too. Now my Grant Hill. I'm not mad at all about the empty amount I got for Grant Hill. I got 170. A lot of Grant Hills go for anywhere from 150 to 170. So I got basically the maximum I could have gotten out of my Grant Hill. So 170 definitely is a, is a big time bonus for my grant hill in specific now once my jonathan isaac sells i should have nearly 500,000 mt and right now i mean i'm gonna hold on to kd really probably until we get another kevin durant and other than that my squad is pretty solid through and through there's not many really holes that i see in it the only other thing that i'm thinking about doing guys i'm thinking about going a different route so let's say I don't pick up Ben Simmons, right? Let's say, because, I mean, I, if we get a point guard, Giannis, LeBron, whatever, that ruins his price pretty good. I need some center depth. And the reason I say that is because Jermaine O'Neal is fine, but I don't want to buy the badges for Jermaine O'Neal. So then we get into the centers that came out today. And we got Chris Depps, Porzingis, and James Wiseman. Again, we got Jalen Brown, but Jalen Brown's not even better than Steven Jackson, in my opinion. Then we got, you know, Robert Reed's okay, but none of these guys really are making the cut anymore. And I, you know, I can use them and show you guys what they're like, but they're not really making my cut anymore. The guys that could possibly make my squad, Paul George, but again, the shooting guard small forward position for me isn't my biggest concern. And then we got KP and James Wiseman. So let's just search here and see what kind of all these prices are like right now as far as each and every one of these players. So obviously Wiseman for 166000 is not that bad. Now I do think his price is going to go down a little bit. Let's check out Chris Stapp's poor Zingas here. Obviously, Ben Simmons is just still super, super expensive. Even a guy like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, guys, for 121,000 MT, if I can find a juice Kareem, maybe I'll go that route. I mean, because everybody's probably selling their Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, and I do think he's a step below the guys of, like, you know, a poor Zingas and those types of guys. But if I can get a Kareem, let's say with 46 Hall of Fame badges, has a diamond three-point shoe, I mean, I don't think I'm missing out on much. I love Kareem Abdul-Jabbar a ton. And so that's kind of where I'm at with things. It's like, if I can get a cream, this one has Hall of Fame range, I think I might go down this route. And the reason is, because if I can get Kareem and then move, here's here's, here's kind of what I'm thinking, right? Here's, here's my thought process. I don't really like running Danny Ferry at the four too much. And I got to find a way to get Bobo in my lineup. I know Bobo is going to stick around. So if I plug Bobo, obviously Bobo can run center too. I don't, I don't hate Bobo running center. But here's my thing. I don't like Bill Russell or Bobo at center. I'd rather have both of them at power forward. And I get it. This this is basically an all-reward team outside of KD. But eventually, guys, I could sell KD and move Steven Jackson there. But eventually, guys, I want to run Ferry at the at, at the three. And eventually, I'll get rid of Xavier McDaniel, run Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's really that simple. If I could run Ferry at the three, Worthy at my three, Ferry and Worthy at the threes, Bobo and Bill Russell at the fours, and then pick up two new centers... That's kind of optimally what I'm thinking of doing for my specific squad. So, I mean, we might eventually have to just forget about, for the time being at least, forget about getting uh, getting the man with the plan in Ben Simmons. And we might have to go down a different route for Kareem. Again, we might get a juiced up Kareem eventually at some point. But I just, I got to do what's best for me right now. And if I could get, let's say, this Kareem, which I think I have a chance to get for pretty cheap, then that's probably probably the route I will go down. Now, let's just check some things out here. Obviously, we have gotten a mystery pack out of the... You know, you get a mystery pack, I think, after every win. So, I got a few mystery packs to open here. We'll just see what's in these. I don't know if there's anything you can even pull that's super good. Okay, a Chuck Taylor shoe. Is this just a random pack? I know... I'm pretty, pretty sure people pulled Ty Lewis out of these packs as well. Okay, a Ruby. Who is this going to be? A Kyle Anderson. I mean, it's not the worst thing. Just a, a free player after every win. That's not a bad prize at all. But if you are grinding for Vince Carter, there's plenty of moments, challenges, plenty of XP out here if you, that's what you're trying to do. So in my team limited, I, I think I got a decent... Okay, I, this is the lineup I assembled. Because there's not that many players that have rings for me that are, that are you know, centers or above. I mean, obviously... Wait. Obviously, there's some people I could play. You know, Kevin Love. You got those types of players. But I don't have that much depth, especially... You know power forwards and up so it's gonna be kind of tough probably to get my ring this weekend I have, a, I have a feeling about it 
But at the end of the day, it's something we have to get done. Baryarni, are you better? All right, let's just run Baryarni. I think he can be okay. So I'm just going to go out with this lineup today. So I'm going to put a last minute bid in on Kareem, probably right around 160 is what I'm thinking about bidding for Kareem. If I don't get him, it's fine. It is what it is. I might go a little above. Uh, but I just want to see if and test the waters a little bit. Kareem for 152. I don't mind that at all. Just let me get Kareem for 152. I personally feel like that's an absolute steal. I think he's a top top two or three is big in the game center in the game and right now this is what we're gonna do Pull Kareem there Bobo there eventually guys if I I mean I just am one center away let's say I get Porzingis I'll probably end up getting Wiseman moving Bill Russell to the four uh moving Danny Ferry in for probably Steven Jackson honestly I might move Steven Jackson there and sell KD but we'll have to see when the time comes but first before anything I have to capture my limited ring and I'll probably have to sweat pretty badly this weekend to get it. I loaded into that game super quick. This guy's got an insanely good lineup. I say insanely good. I mean, I, it's not really that much better than mine objectively. If he starts the game and floods me, I'll just quit the game. I'm not trying to sit here and sweat through this. Obviously, he's got Tyson KP. This dude's got a solid lineup. I think one of the best things 2K has implemented into my team limited is the shorter quarters because it's only a four minute quarter game compared to the five minutes and that's what it was to start the year. I think that's one of the best things 2K has done all year long. And that's just my opinion on things. Now, nah, that's just me. Again, I'm going to sweat when I'm playing. I, I did some of my settings. I do about half. I usually don't do settings at all. But I clicked on them this, this game and did them. But I think that's one of the best things that, that has happened to Limited. Because some people just are there to play the game. And if I'm winning the game, I'm obviously not going to quit. So that's just the way it is. And some people literally refuse to quit games. So that the fact that they've shortened games, I think, is one of the best things Limited has done in general all the way around. No way you make that, right? I guess he used all he used the entire clock to get that bad of a shot. It is what it is. No way you're pressing me. Chicken. My fault, Manu. I gotta green that. Again, if he scores here, I'm just gonna get out of here. I, I know this guy's not very good. Okay, I'm going to give it another possession. He just shot a late. But that's my thing. If I know the dude's not very good, I might stay longer because I know this guy's not beating me. Like, I, I just simply know he's not going to beat me. Like, what am I watching? What am I seeing right now? This dude is not beating me. Snatch for me. Good, Jackson. Good shot, my boy. Good shot. Knockdown. Now we go. I kind of want to press him, but at the same time, I don't have enough speed out here. They make, the, they make these requirements wild. Like, I don't think you can have a big man or a forward or center with 80 plus speed. Like, imagine... 80 plus speed that's it's kind of bad but oh well it is what it is run oh yeah this is my man's talk about a smooth stroke my man's got it go to the rim please kevin love ew that release is so slow man my fault i gotta dot money that's me chicken hey that's so bad i'm selling right now and at the end of the day i'm selling and i'm still up two points Grab the ball, please. What am I seeing? No way. Oh, yeah, Steven. Oh, yeah, Steven. Yes, sir. Uh oh, just like this. You don't even have to green and limited. Just like this. I'm up, what, five? Yes, sir, Manu. Just green that. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a white. Can you quit the game for me, please? It's seven. It's seven, man. I think it's about that time. Oh, yeah, that's a great defensive play, Kayla. Run. Uh-oh, it's, it's, it's tough for my opponent, man. I haven't even green with Manu like that or anybody yet, and we're still up nine, and his entire team is cold right now. I just, I don't know what, if, if I'm my opponent, I mean, you just got to know at this point. Like, sometimes you just know, and at this point, I know. I don't know if my opponent has accepted it yet, but I, I surely know what's going on. Chaney, bro, you got a green, like... Some of y'all have some of the smoothest strokes, and right now I just can't green with any of y'all. Manu, it doesn't matter. I love Manu's green animation, even when I don't green the shot. It looks so silky. Oh, my goodness. Like, no way we're playing. I guess we're in for the long haul here. We are definitely in for the long haul here. It is what it is. Manu time. Ah, curry me. Green me. You gave me a full. That's why I white shots. Like, that's my excuse. Anytime I, anytime I shoot fulls, I just say, that's why I white. Because, like... <laughs> I mean, why, why are fools even in the game? It doesn't even make sense to me. Oh, yeah, that's my bump. You got badge now. You know what to do. Chill. 
Chill, 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 chill. Come on, man. Like, come on. We're in my team limited and we're and we're playing like. I was literally gonna quit for you. I was talking about it, and if you wouldn't have shot the late, I probably would have quit for you, my man. I mean, I'm being honest with you. And you're over here fouling on breaks down five to twenty-one. Like, what are we doing here? Back to him. Imagine Manu not getting a shot. You got badge. Chill. Back to him. Green. There we go. It's about time I got a good looking green with you, Manu. And I'm so thankful I got these spotlight players for this. Because, I mean, they're just going to help get me through this. No way. Bro, Daniel Tice, please never try that again. Thank you, man. Thank the Lord. 5 to 25. We got him out of there. Am I going to get lucky on the first game? And I get a flashback. You know what? That's the best thing that was there. So, hey, a W on the first board. I get a free pack. Look, let's see what it is. I also do got the Amethyst tier award. We do get a Ruby, Daryl Dawkins. Hold up. Isn't Wendell Carter Jr. good, actually? I feel like Wendell Carter Jr. is good. I'm going to play Wendell Carter Jr. He's good. I don't know who I was playing. But I really think Wendell Carter Jr. is probably the best guy I can play right there. And we're going to plug him in right there. And head into game number two. There's no way we're using a token award, award Jermaine O'Neal in almost June. This is bad. This should be an easy flood. I'm not even doing settings because I think I can get this dude out of here without doing settings. And if he's a sweat, look, you got it. I'm not wasting no time in limited this week. I'm not I'm not trying to ever waste time. Yo, back. All right, bro. Why are we doing so much? Why are we already doing so much for a Mono Ginobili green light in your face? Like... We're doing the most already. Go double team in, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, I got the ball. I had the ball, ref. How are you going to call a foul when I literally got the ball? I don't understand, man. Sometimes these refs, they be, they be calling anything, honestly. Yeah, now what? You're so stunned right now. I can, oh, my goodness. I just got hold out of my steel. Steady me. Anytime somebody misses an open and I know they got steady shooter, I just fry them. Whether it's the steady effect or not, I'm going to pretend it is so I can just really, really clown steady shooter on current gen. Oh, yeah. Now what, John Wall? You put this shoe on John Wall? No wonder you're using him. I would try to use him, too. You're running a three out to win. It's sad, bro. That's too deep. Oh, my goodness. We're fine. Oh, yeah, Manu, that's stop, man. Board, thank you. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is just... I feel kind of bad for my opponent, but I think it's your time. Look, I think it's your time. If I get down 8-0, to zero, on me, I'm out of there. On me, on everything, I'm out of there. All right, good shot. You know what? I'll give you credit where credit is, credit is due. So, yo, stop sweating me. It's green. Stop playing. I get a full. Hey, yo, stop, 2K. Look, for what reason are we doing this? Thank you. Give me my ball back. I feel like if I get up 10 or whatever the case is, this dude's out of here. I'll take Showtime. You ain't got to tell me twice. Hey, Showtime. Come on. I'm not even pressing you. I'm just trying to get you out of here, to be honest with you. Thank you. The more I use this Steven Jackson card, the more I like him. And I'm just going to tell you guys that, to be honest with you. The dude can ball. The dude can compete. And that's why I want to run him. Even in Unlimited, like, I don't know if KD is that much better than him. Like, Steven Jackson can compete. Now you're pressing me. Ah, right, you want to go there? Look, if you want to really go there, we can go there. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. You want to press me? That's fine. That's fine. Press me then. Because I, I know you don't want me to press you. But you want to go there. You wanted to go there, so we'll go there. Since you wanted, since you really wanted to go there, we can go there. And I don't even got my defensive setting. I must have saw something. Because I know Sempi dot dash underscore dot J did not just pause me, bro. Because I'm really finna let him know what it is from now on. Like, I'm, I'm going to let you know. You pause me, that's fine. Pause me. Hope it's worth it, big bro. Hope it's worth it, big bro. Hope it's worth it, big bro. That's all I can tell you. I hope it. I hope that pause was worth it, man. 
That's all I can tell you. Pause me. Pause me. Pause me! Uh, like, I hope the pause was worth it. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's a good defense. Wow, I made that. I That did not deserve to go in. I'll be the first to say it. That one did not deserve to go in, but hey, I'll take it. It's kind of your fault at the end of the day. Chaney. Hmm, that's good defense. Cheney, Chaney, whatever your name is. I'm going to call you Chaney. You're so chicken. I'm going to say, like, you were chicken for me in shoot round. I need to start greening with you. That should have been mine, too. Like, are we really going to play this full game? There's no chance you beat me. There's a 0% chance you're winning this game. I'm just going to keep it real with you. You want me to lie to you? Say you got a chance when that's a lie? I'm going to keep it real with you, man. Come here, Mono. Chill. You left him. Did you not just see him green one in your face a possession ago? Like, I'm so, I just get so confused sometimes. Like, dude, why, how do dudes not understand? Do not learn. Like, I literally just hooped on you. You didn't jump? Imagine not jumping in Mono Ginobili. Look, I don't understand. Either way, guys. You guys know what's going to happen the rest of this game. It's never, it was never even a debate. I'm up 13 points after a quarter. And my thing is, there's no way people are grinding XP like that this season, right? So, I mean, there's no reason people aren't quitting. Like, that's that's my whole thing. Uh, I mean, maybe people are grinding XP. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be so quick to judge. I wouldn't grind XP. That's what I'll say. Up to Cheney. You're so chicken. You're so chicken. That's a good shot. You're still chicken, man. This dude's trying so hard to beat me, like, for what? I ain't even do settings, so I ain't even got my five output. Hey, showtime! I'm just trying to get y'all some takeover. Get, you know, get the blood flowing a little bit. You're so slow, Kevin Love. Thank you. Good block. Run, grab... Y'all make me so mad sometimes. Y'all didn't grab the ball there? For what? Why would y'all not just secure the orange? Like, not that it's gonna matter. I'm still, like, killing this dude. But, like, can y'all just grab the ball next time? Ask him for a friend. That's fine. Y'all are playing the whole game, so don't even want a break. Because y'all are not getting it. Can you stop leaving Chicken Mancini open? Please. Like, it's just disrespectful. I don't, I don't understand what the purpose of it is. I'm coming with it, bro. You threw that? Nah, that's bad. There's no way you threw that. Hey, Ginobili. Uh-uh. Steven Jackson has takeover. And I'm really sitting here playing this entire game for what reason? Step man, chicken man, step man into chicken man. That's Steven Jackson, and we are still here up 20 points. Awful, just terrible. Hey, can you give me showtime? What in the world am I seeing? I'm finna just start holding the ball. This is sad. Kevin Love blocking you? Yeah. I've never let Kevin Love block me. Ever. You're so chicken, Cheney. Oh my goodness, yeah. 
I might as well put the subs in the game. Let's just sit back in a 2-3 zone. This entire second half, we basically just held the ball from each other. And I mean, the score ended up 57-30. to Wouldn't you try to get your ring at the same time you get games played? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But just look at the second half. It was 10 points to 6 points. I just don't get it. All right, so we'll see. Can I get my limited ring? We always go left, and it's on the right. I'm so derailed for today. I mean, I had to play the entire game, and I was on the right. I might just start going right. At this point, at this stage of 2K, I feel like it's on the right more than the left. I don't know. Maybe it's just random, but every time I go left, I promise you it seems like it's on the right. <sighs> it just seems. That's just, like, for me, it's just so mentally exhausting. You play that entire game. Like, I play the entire game. I'm going to open Kevin Martin here. The entire game literally takes 20 minutes to get a base league back. It is what it is at the end of the day. I can only control what I can control. I'm done complaining about it. Kevin Martin, welcome to the squad. We do have a couple more packs to open up. And then we're, we're going to get rounded off here by the Amethyst Tier Award pack. A bunch of shoes. I need to go through and sell some stuff because I still got a lot of stuff left over. And I need to make sure my Jonathan Isaac sells at some point. As much as I, you know, think Jonathan Isaac solid, I just don't have a spot for him in my specific squad. Especially now that I did pick up Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I really don't think there's a spot for him. And again, the Amethyst pack, it's solid. We pulled some Amethyst and stuff, but it's nothing crazy. So, probably put my Jonathan Isaac back up. But this is kind of the lineup that I'm thinking about running, at least for now. I kind of want to get built to the three. And then eventually, I might sell KD, move Jimmy Butler there, Steven Jackson there. It's just there's, there's so many different lineup combinations I can do since I did complete the triple threat spotlight sims. Let me know what you guys think I should do as far as the best lineup I can possibly make. Do I pick up a James Wiseman? Move Bill Russell to the four, move Danny Ferry to the backup three, sell KD, move Jimmy Butler there, and Steven Jackson to the backup two. And then my next upgrade would probably be at the point guard position. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We're back in My Team Limited tomorrow to hopefully secure the ring. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.